Welcome back to the channel. This is a Black Country Biker. I am in sunny Cornwall. Um, it was raining 10 minutes ago, but that's Cornwall for you. If you don't like the rain, don't come to Cornwall. As promised before, I know it took a while, but this is my personal honest review of my new helmet, the Arai 2 Across 5, which I think is beautiful, but it has got its faults. So let's get on with it. My country biker. It's replaced the Tourex 4, which was uh, a cracking helmet. I had one myself. Um, I had the um, Vision Grey version. And um, there's been a 12 year gap between that one and this one. And the changes are uh, immense, to be honest. The other helmet was really good. Uh, this one is um, superb, but it does have its slight faults, which I'll get into in a little bit. Okay. It is regulated by the uh, ECE uh, 2206, and uh, it complies with all the new rules, which they keep coming up with all the time changing things, moving the goalposts more or less every year now. And um, over here, it's called the two across five or the TX5. In the States, I think in North America, it's the um, XD5. I might be wrong. I think it's the XD5. It's the same helmet. Um, this one compared to the other one, the X4 was more pointed at the peak the whole helmet was more pointed. The visor, this is more rounded. Um, this takes its uh, inspiration from the uh, RX-7 crash helmet, uh, Arai helmet. Um, it's got the Quantic vent on the top here. Um, under the peak, you can see where the Arai is. Okay, this one is the um, R75, which is the diameter of the curve of the helmet. This one's more rounded. RI have made it this way. So what they're saying is, uh, in the event of a, an accident with the helmet coming into contact with the tarmac or the dirt, it's more rounded and it should glide more easily across the surface, not any, having any points to catch to cause rotational injuries um, to the rider. However, they say there's nothing there to do it, but there is a peak, but I'm pretty sure even though this is quite a lot sturdier than the four with better ventilation, it's quite flexible when it's off the helmet. So I would imagine um, that's designed to just snap off and then your head shouldn't be um, having any rotational injuries other than just gliding across the tarmac, which is gonna be bad enough anyway. Um, this one is um, Cosmic Yellow or Yella, as we say in the black country, Cosmic Yella. I think it's just starting to rain. And um, the, the, um, the basic plane helmets, they are very expensive, these things, but you get what you pay for, I suppose, a 599 quid. Anything with colour on, including this one, 699 quid. So it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of spondulies, this crash helmet is. But I think it's worth it for what you get. Um, Okay, it's made from a, a complex um, laminate construction uh, with a fiberglass weave. Uh, there's a belt across the, the top of the brow there, um, which um, offers even more protection. Um, apparently, only the uh, RI engineers know what else goes into this helmet. Um, but the, uh, the ECS, um, the, the lining, the polystyrene lining, most helmets have three, four or five pieces. Our eyes are graded, uh, there's three different gradients and it goes in in one piece, it's one. Um, there's other videos where you can see them forcing that into the, into the uh, shell itself. Uh, again, this is all to do with safety. Um, if you've never had an arrow helmet, um, just read up on it. They're one of the safest helmets on the planet, if not the safest. Um, it's one piece. So again, if you do it the road, it's not liable to split or separate because of that one piece. But so there's three different gradients all around the helmet for different parts of protection to the head. 
they don't compromise on safety so there's no drop down visor inside any sun visor um, which it'd be nice if they did with uh, Klim with the uh, Krios Pro um, have done they've got a transitional visor um, no drop down one in that either that helmet is lighter but I think this one scores higher if you look on different there's I think if you look on champion helmets um, not that I'm paid I'm not paid by them or anything I'm not paid by anybody this is all just my own work I earn now money from YouTube this is just me giving you my honest opinion of this helmet there's three shell sizes but there's five different sizes um, it comes with so there's extra small small medium large extra large um, the cheek pads um, come with five millimeter liners which you can take out if it's too tight on you um, i normally have a medium I'm, I'm on the i'm on the edge of medium to large i've had to have a large in this but i say it's it's so comfortable it's unbelievable um, the pin lock with this one is called an xlt um, 120 um, from what i understand the xlt means extra light um, they're saying this offers 2% more light coming in through the visor. The, the, they say the colours are more natural, more vivid um, naturally than what you get with the old um, two across four helmet. Um, the old two across four, because the peak was more angled and, sorry, the peak, the visor was more angled. It was hard to get the pin lock in and you used to get gaps. This one is just... It's absolutely perfect. Um, ventilation on the helmet. You've got you've got the one on the front there, the Arroy off the Quantic. Apparently, to pull that, that is now open. But when you pull that up, believe it or not, that's closed now. That one is. So you've got air coming in through there. You've got three settings on that closed, half open, fully open, and at the back here. You've got, if I can find it, there's three exhaust vents in, inside there, and you've got three settings on that as well. Closed, half open, fully open. And then there's two little ports at the back of the helmet, which create um, a pressure with inside the helmet to get the hot air out, should you have these vents open. Um, it is fantastic. Um, my complaint with this helmet is the old one used to have visor vents, uh, which I, I found were brilliant. Don't get me wrong, the airflow through this helmet is fantastic. I just I just did like the little visor vents there, but people were complaining with the old one in heavy rain. Apparently, they were leaking and, and water was gaining through the through the uh, inside into the visor, and also it was extra noise. Um, this helmet also comes with um, a chin spoiler, as you can see there, pulls down, closes that makes quite a bit of difference um to the airflow and the, and the noise believe it or not when you're riding this thing uh, riding with this thing on um overall i think it's a fantastic helmet the two peeves i have is they've taken these away on the old one you had two extra vents there and ri was saying um they did nothing anyway so they're happy to lose them and my other peeve is this mic. Where's it gone? That mic, the G G J I. I've just I've just bought this bit of kit. When I put it in the crash helmet, the older one, it would have been it would have fitted better. But this one, it's actually near enough touching my mouth, and I'm talking. So, but that's just that's an issue for me. It's nothing to do. Doesn't compromise the helmet at all. It's just me being picky. Uh, I need to resolve that issue myself. But overall, 700 quid, is it worth 700 quid? I suppose anything that's going to stop you getting a serious brain injury if you have an impact is well worth 700 quid. Your 200 quid helmet might do the same. It's obviously a matter for yourself, but um, there's no compromise when it comes to safety with Arroy. Um, I think now they're the best helmets on the planet. Um, they either say you've got a an arrow head or a shoey head. I don't really know what that means. I think if you've got a long narrow head, um, I don't know if these are suited better or, or the shoeys, or if you've got a round head, likewise. But um, this is so comfortable for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
it's just a fantastic helmet. I am pleased with it. Two little peeves and that's it. Apart from that, maybe the only one I should have looked at really was the uh, Klim or the Climb, whatever you want to call it, uh, Krios Pro 2. Um, it would be good if Arroy did come up with a transitional transition visor like uh, Klim have done. Um, a mate of mine's got one of them, a uh, very similar looking helmet to this, um, but I am jealous that he's got the transition visor and I haven't. But you can easily wear sunglasses underneath that if you want to, but the peak, the peak does its job fine when it's sunny. Um, the old peak on the old helmet used to vibrate quite a bit. I used to get quite a bit of vibration through that. They've redesigned this one now, so you've got this massive gap. You've got this huge gap through there, as you can see, and the two little gaps, um, which are just there. The airflow again, fantastic. But it's a matter for yourself. Um, the vents on the front, there's a slider inside the helmet, which you can shut off completely or have open. This has got three, one, two, well, one, two, three. So up is, it's closed off completely. Two, it brings the airflow in and up into the visor. Three, down the bottom where it is now, puts it straight into your mouth. Um, so again, the ventilation on this helmet is superb, absolutely superb. Um, I've got no complaints whatsoever. So um, back to the other points. Okay, now we come to versatility of the helmet. Um, the peak is far easier to take off than on the old one. Um, it's just one screw, just one screw there, 20 pence piece will do it. You take that off, that unclicks. No problem. To get the visor off, I'm not going to do it because I ain't got my stuff with me. I'm sat outside on my holidays. Is you lift the visor up. It's landing so far with the visor. And when you take that off, you click it up one more and it just, there's little buttons there you click and it all comes apart. No problem. So, in theory, you can have it as it is like this with the Venture helmet with the visor. You can also take the peak off and have it as a... a a full-blown road helmet, looks very smart. Thirdly, you can take the visor out and you can put goggles if you want to do a bit of off-roading. Proper motocross goggles fit in there quite easily. Or I have seen someone who's actually lifted the visor and got the goggles in there anyway. It still fits, so it's very versatile. So you've got adventure. Without the visor, goggles on, motocross. Take the peak off, you've got a road helmet. So it's three in one. Um, I'll just give you a look around it. It's quite smart, this helmet. Quite a smart looking helmet. The visor itself, um, it's got that on there, the one click. People have been saying if they've got it there and they're riding above 30 mile an hour, the wind will blow it down and leave a gap of probably 10 mil. So you've got a little bit of breeze coming through. Um, I'll be honest, I think it's quite, I've had mine halfway. Um, and it's been fine. And I've done it, I've done high speeds, I've done round town speeds and uh, it's been fine. But I'm really pleased with it. So that's my review. Um, take from it what you will. Everyone's got their own opinions on the helmet. I've tried to give you all the technical stuff, but uh, there's more videos out there which have got far more tech on if you go to Bennett Social or MCN. But they're all loaded and they're all, they've got all the information at the fingers. All I've got is I stick it on my head and I ride my bike. So I'm being as honest as I can and I've gleaned what information I can with the specs to you. But all I can say is, as a user of the helmet, being a biker, it's super comfortable. The vision through it is unbelievable. Um, it, it is on the heavier side, uh, 1700, I think they come in on the medium. Um, I know the, the Klim Krios is lighter and that's got its benefits to this one, but this one overall, like I say, if you look on Champion Helmets or somewhere like that where they compare decibel sound and all, everything, 
This comes out num number one. Uh, Klim Krios comes out number two. Each to their own. But anyway, I'll, um, I'll let you get on. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you'd please um, give me a thumbs up and a like. Kick the bell icon so you know uh, next time I do a video. And if you would please, please, please um, subscribe. I ain't got many subscribers. I'm only a small channel. I'm all on my own. I do it all off my own bat, my own money. Um, a little bit of support uh, is much appreciated. And thank you to all my subscribers I've got already. It means the world. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one. Black Country Biker.